Hey everybody, this is Brian, and welcome to our second LAMP tutorial. I trust you've already installed VirtualBox, and you're ready to go. So, with VirtualBox open, click New, and we're going to create a new virtual machine, and we're just going to call this TestBox, and we want this to be Linux. Notice it automatically defaults to Ubuntu, and we need to give it some RAM. So I'm going to give it 2 gigs of RAM. Feel free to give it whatever you feel is necessary. We cr need to create a virtual hard drive now. Um, we are creating a full virtual computer, so it needs RAM, hard drive, etc., etc. The hard drive type, when in doubt, leave it as the default, but if you wanted a different format, for example, if you're going to do in VMware, you, you could just select that there. Um, the hard drive storage type, we're going to do dynamically allocated, or thin provisioned as it's called. That just means it'll use the space as it needs it, rather than creating one monster hard drive. And we're going to make an 8 gig hard drive. Feel free to change the size however you feel appropriate. All right. Now we have our test box set up. One thing to note is in the network settings is if you have a problem getting on the network, switch it over to bridged instead of NAT. Um, NAT stands for Network Address Translation, and it's a very ingenious way of hiding your IP address, but sometimes it gets a little quirky. Now, we're going to go ahead and start this virtual machine up. And ta-da! The first thing it says is, please select a virtual optical disk or physical disk drive. What does that mean? Well, it's asking for a CD-ROM or an ISO image like we downloaded in our previous tutorial. We're going to just select the ISO image. And this is Ubuntu 12.4. And click Start. Now this will take some time to start up because it is going from a virtual ISO into a virtual machine, etc, etc, everything's pulling off one hard drive. Once it's installed, it's much snappier and much faster. Um, this specific version of Ubuntu, I think, has a, a boot issue. So we may actually see an, an address issue where it'll pop up and say, uh, please update your BIOS or do force uh, address zero. We'll see what happens here. And if you do see that error message, don't worry. Just let it continue on. It'll resolve itself. Now, because installing an operating system can get quite lengthy, I may pause this video in a few places. I may actually stop the video and then start a second one or a part two of this, this streamcast. Tick-tock. There it is. All right. Yeah, it says... Uh, um, upgrade BIOS or use force address uh, hex ADDR. We're not going to worry about that, so if you get that error message, don't freak out. Nothing's broken. It just means that the Linux distribution, we're expecting something different than what the virtual BIOS handed it. We're just going to let it keep going. Now, if you're not familiar with VirtualBox, you'll notice that the screen will change sizes automatically. But um, down here are some icons. That indicates your hard disk. Here's your CD-ROM. You notice how CD-ROM's flashing, the hard disk is not. It's because, whoops, there you go. So screen automatically resize. Sorry about that. Let me pull this up here so you can see it. And you can see everything else down there blinking. Um, we do have mouse capture enabled. So if this thing gobbles up your mouse and you can't get it back, just simply right click and it'll give you your mouse back. Let me bring up Firefox. That way I have my region set up so you can see. In case you're wondering how I'm creating this video, I'm using a program called Kazam Screencaster. Um, it's kind of, it's a very good program, but it's kind of quirky in the sense that it will allow me to define a rectangle, a screen to record, and I'm in Linux, obviously. And every time I start it, I have to redefine that rectangle. It drives me crazy. I have not yet researched to see if I can automate that or if there's a settings file somewhere. Alright, once this comes up, you get to choose between installing or trying. If you try it, it's what's called a live distribution, which means everything runs directly off the CD. So you can actually run Linux directly off the CD without ever touching your hard drive. But because it's a virtual machine, we want to install it. All right. Now I do want to resize the screen, so I'm going to stop this specific tutorial and I'm going to make a part two. And we're going to call it Installing Ubuntu. Mm -hmm. 